So a friend of mine named Randy sent me a message and asked me to help her figure out how to make a, a chevron letter like this split um, the way you see like the regal font split with the bar across the middle. But she was not putting it on something white, so she needed the white layer of these things. Um, I was having a hard time doing it. So I went on Google, and I googled the chevron letter and just found this letter S for the sake of it. And I copy this image and bring it over to Inkscape and paste it in there. If you hold control as you drag your shapes out, they'll keep perspective and they won't get all stretched out. So now we have our shape, but it's not an SVG yet. It's just an image, like a JPEG or something. So it's not transparent. You can see the solid white background there. So we're going to get rid of that by tracing it. We're going to go path, trace bitmap. You only need two colors because it's a black and white image. I leave color it on. I take smooth off so that it doesn't, like, oversimplify the cut points and um, check off remove background and that's what we want it to look like so we just hit OK and now you have a transparent version and a solid version you don't need the solid version so you get rid of it so here's our SVG and the next thing you want to do is we're going to need a background for this so I'm going to make a copy of this because I'm going to need this copy to cut up for the split part. So if you do Control D for duplicate, you'll get a second copy of it. So I'm just going to move that out of the way for now. And this one needs a background. So if we go to Path, Break Apart, it's going to break it up into a whole bunch of little pieces. You can see the all the little squares everywhere. So as long as your piece doesn't have any completely open points, if it's closed end all the way around, it'll do this, and it'll just turn it into one solid piece for you. So then you just go path, union, and now you have one piece. That's going to be our background. Uh, Randy wanted it white, but if we make it white, you can't see it anymore. So I usually make them like a light gray just so that I can see it while I'm working with it, and then I'll turn it white at the end. Um, but So there's our background piece. Now we want this back on top of this, but we want them exactly lined up. So you drag a box around both of them. You see you can see both dotted lines there. And go to Object, Align and Distribute, and that'll open up this menu. You would align them vertically, and then align them horizontally, and now they're perfectly on top of each other. So now the next problem is that we need to add the little horizontal bar in here. We need to add it to both layers. So um, we're going to do the back layer first because that's easier. <laughs> um, but you can't really get to the background piece anymore because it's now behind the chevron piece. So what we're going to do is this chevron piece, we're going to send it to the back. You can go object, lower to bottom, or you can just hit end. Why didn't that work? There. Okay, so now the solid piece is on top. If we click off of it and click here, we're going to be on the solid piece now. You can see that like that. Control Z undoes whatever you just did. So now they're back on top of each other. So now we need our bar. Make a square. I always make them a different color. Oops. I always make my new shapes a different color so that I can see them. It's just easier for me personally. Preference. Right. So there's our rectangle. Path object to path. Just turn that into a path so it doesn't keep Using it as that um, rectangle piece that's not really a path yet, it's just a shape. Um, so now we have that. We're going to need a couple of these. We're going to need one for the background, we're going to need one for the chevron, and we're actually going to need a third one to make the little horizontal bars, but I'll show you that after. But for the moment, hit Control D, that makes a second copy of it. I'm going to keep them stacked though so that everything lines up perfectly at the end. So I have one copy of that. There are two copies here, but I'm clicking, selecting one. I'm going to do that. Hold Shift and also select your background piece. See the two boxes? And now if you do Path Union or Control Plus Plus, 
it combines them. It doesn't look like it did anything, but if you want to check, take this green piece and move it, and you can see that you have your background now. Control Z to put it back. So now this is the background piece. It's done. That's all you need. So we're going to send this back behind the chevron piece again. Hit end, and it goes to the back. So now we have this rectangle and the chevron. We're going to cut this out of this. Before we do, we want to make a copy of this. Because you know in a split letter you have two horizontal bars here that go across like this. We want those to match this perfectly. So we're going to make another copy of this green box. So hit Control D. And that one you can just get out of the way for now. Now this, you hold Shift, select your chevron piece, and now Path, Difference. And that slices it out of it. So now you have your split apart piece and your background piece that we're going to make white at the end. So now all that's missing is the little vertical bars here. So now we're going to take this and put it back here. This one you have to line up yourself, kind of. But all we really need is we're going to make this real short. We want the width to be right because it matches the background piece right now. We just want it to be real short. So we're going to make it look like that and then make a copy of that. Control D and put that one at the bottom. And you have those both in place. You can also, if you hold shift and this, you can align them again to make sure they're lined up left to right. So now we take this little piece and the chevron piece and we're going to union them this time. So we want them together, we're not cutting it out of it. Now it becomes part of that. Hold shift again and click that one and union those. Now you have your split letter and a solid background that matches it. Put them back together. So now, actually before we put them back together, we can actually turn this back to white. And even though you can't see it, you can draw a box around it to see both boxes. We center them again. And now we have a split letter with the background. So hopefully that was helpful. And Randy, I hope that made sense to you. If you still have any questions, just send me a message. And uh, thanks for watching. Have fun.